Hey everyone, um, I'm in my garage right now, using my uh, Levere mic, um, probably going to start using the Levere mic a lot more often because um, the, the Rode mini mic, the, uh, I can't think of the name, but the little fuzzy thing you put on it is literally just not even staying completely on it, like it's on it but it's hanging so bad that I fear that the audio quality might not be very satisfactory, which I think it's the the, t the only time that I've used it with it falling off like that is the uh, the volleyball game, which I don't know if that'll be on this video or the, the last video. But yeah, I'm gonna try to start using this uh, with the task cam thing and just record on a separate SD card and then sync it up because there's the auto sync feature and that kind of makes everything a lot easier anyway. Um, it's about, it's almost 9 a.m. by the time that uh, my client today um, wanted to do our time lapse project. Um, I've done a project with them a little way back that was just like a photo edit, with the last project being a picture project and paid at least a hundred dollars. I know for sure a hundred dollars that I. I'm thinking that maybe I'll at least get paid a hundred dollars in this project too, so that's good. I could use the money. Uh, this week is the week that I'm going to be cranking out about 40 hours, so I'm not going to do a lot of recording, but I do have this video project today. He's also wanting to apparently start a YouTube channel, but doesn't exactly have a direction, so maybe I'll do some helping with him on the YouTube channel stuff uh, coming up in the future. The shooting that I was doing with the producer. Today's Tuesday, isn't it? Oh, so that'll actually be tomorrow. He wants to do it right after I got off work. Work 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I think he wants to record at 5 p.m. So that'll be great. Um, after that, I'll just be working a lot of night shifts. About eight or nine hour night shifts. Fun week, but you know, when you gotta play catch up with debt, you gotta play catch up with debt. Uh, this little project, the time lapse project, I will be using my Oslo that I'm recording with and the JVC 3D Aerio camera I got. Um, yeah. Uh, before I go, which I don't even know where I'm going yet because he hasn't sent me an address. So it might not be 9 a.m. because that's when we talked about it. It might be 10 a.m. But regardless, I'm going to go get something to eat before I go, go, go. Hopefully. I think I will. Looks like I just got a message from him, so let's get this show on the road. In the place right now, it's a pretty cool light. This is uh this is the guy that I'm doing the time lapse with. He's walking that way, but you know. Ugh. We got one camera set there, and one camera set right there, my DJI. I'm doing it by every 10 seconds, so hopefully this works out all right. All right, just thought I'd give you guys an update. What's up? Working on the house? Always. Got no door frame. This is how he's gonna get in and out from his house now. force it in too tight to where the frame blows because then you're gonna have a problem getting the door in right. And when it closes it's gonna be super tight or won't close.
you have a nail gun, that's fine and dandy. But I use these screws, like counter screws with a star bit, and they hold just fine. I put three on each side and then two on the top. Yeah, the floor concrete buckled right there. Stopped it from going in, but overall it's pretty easy. Overall it's pretty easy. Man. I've done some where it's a nightmare. This one was not that bad. It looks pretty good already. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty, pretty in there. that you want it to go without chipping any wood. Counter sink these. Counter sink that a little bit. Another thing, if you're too tight between jams here, when you run your three inch screw in here, always do that on the hinge it's gonna bring that in more. So then it might not be tight, but this one closes. So it's tight right in here. When I run the screws in on this hinge, I'll probably run another one in right here, it'll be all right. It's always better to screw these by hand than with a drill gun in case you slip or something like that. And you don't wanna over torque it either. Why don't you want to over-torque it? Uh, it'll cave in. Cave in, you could break something inside of here too. Break the mechanism? Yes. Now I don't have a handle on yet, but let's see how this works. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we'll work on it. Once I get these screws up here in, I think we'll be all right. These big screws go, Three inch screws go way into the frame, so if someone's trying to kick in your door, they're gonna have a little bit of a harder time. We like to uh, be pretty secure here. <laughs> Looking tight. It's the moment of truth. I just messed up my thousand dollar door. key here now I like these smart keys because I can change the keys anytime I want to do rental properties so it's easy to come through put smart keys in and just change the keys like that instead of changing the whole lock assembly every time but some people say it's easier to break these if someone's trying to break in they will break it and then you can't use your key at all but I'm gonna teach you how to do it real quick you turn it 90 Plug in this to the teach tool. Plug it in all the way, you'll hear it kind of click. Pull it out. Then take <clears throat> your key, whichever key you want. Make sure it's the same style. Plug it in. Boom, three key. That's cool. Now, if you verify, try the old key. Old key doesn't work. So we're good. That's pretty dope. <laughs> A little bit too far. There we go. All right. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that little time lapse situation. Uh, basically, I woke up, got some subway, went to the job. We drove to his dad's or grandpa's to grab a saw, came back, started setting up the, the things, recorded, uh, did time lapse uh, 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds, it would take a, a still. And that uh, turned into about 20 seconds worth, worth of footage. We recorded about for two hours. 
Um, it did start to rain a little bit, but um, not. it really only sprinkled and then it, it stopped. So I didn't have to really move the cameras. I moved the Osmo a little bit because I was a little scared. And then a uh, piece of cardboard did jump, fall in front of the, uh, the JVC, the other camera. And we moved that and it kind of moved the camera. So that's about all that happened. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm now in the editing station right now, about to start editing it. I have a couple other videos for my vlogs I need to edit, but this is a paid job, and uh, I should get paid in about two weeks. I should get this done in two weeks, and um, I'm gonna get paid a hundred. Uh, I told him, you know, a hundred should be fine. Fifty for the recording, fifty for uh, editing. Obviously, it wouldn't hurt to get paid more, but. It's no biggie. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be that hard of a situation. He's talking about making a YouTube channel, um, and I kind of want to help him with the YouTube channel, but I have a feeling he's gonna want to do it on his own. I told him, "Hey, if if you want ever want extra hand, uh, we don't have to do a hundred dollars per video. We can figure out something more affordable because obviously a hundred dollars per video is probably a little too much to start out with until you actually make a profit off of it." But in general, I'm, I'm open to uh, to helping you if, if you have any questions. But yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and smash that bell icon if you uh, would like to be notified every time I make a video. Press subscribe because, you know, that's awesome. Um, got some videos over here. Watch next on what YouTube recommends. And uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Oh, yeah.